school and graduating and can't even read their high school diploma. Wow. That's that's not freedom. That's not that's a slave that you done made that can only work minimum wage jobs at best. Mm. Then where you have it with an economic system that's changing. And so you had the one candidate, uh, I think his name was Yang, was talking about we need to give all the American citizens a thousand dollar stimulus or a thousand dollar check to go along with what you make. Why? Manufacturing is gone. Automation is coming in. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? How are you? How is the regular everyday person? that's working these teller jobs, how are they going to be able to feed their family when it deals with the companies can say, well, hell, I can put a a machine there and lose three people off my payroll. I ain't got to worry about their health care. I ain't got to worry about no raises. I ain't got to worry about nothing. But making sure my machine is up to date. Who's going to take care of them? Because they don't have the, 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 the knowledge to work in a corporate America, they don't have the knowledge to go out and and invent something that you can make up a manufacturing base. So where and when is their help coming from? Who's going to service them? Now, these are the things that real leadership has to answer. These are the things that when you sitting back and you're realizing what it needs to feed a people, not just some, some, some scraps here and there, but you first feed them with knowledge because you can look, you can, you can, you can get in a car, but if you don't know, if you don't know how to drive, if you don't know what the steering wheel is, Just because you see it with your physical eye doesn't mean you really see it. It doesn't mean that you know its function. You don't know its ability and what you're supposed to do with it. So if you got somebody that's been in jail for what, 20, 30, 40 years, when they went into jail, you had a a key that you can stick into the ignition. Now they got it where you just push a button and keep the key in your pocket. So they get out of jail and step in the car like that. They don't know what to do. Why? Because the mind, the knowledge is not there, even though they can physically see. They're always looking for something to fill that void so they can get that movement. Now that we have movement, the next thing is order. Because we got to have order. And without order, you have what? You have chaos. Uh-huh. So you got we got to figure out not only the employment, but how to feed, how to grow food. Mississippi, some people say when, when, when they first heard about Mississippi, they say, well, hell, you got, you got uh, a major city like Baltimore. It's more more black people and industrious type black people in Baltimore. Why don't you why don't you shoot for there? You ain't growing no food in Baltimore. You ain't growing no food. And then you got too much back and forth. Because you got to be able to plan and prepare for the day of, of onslaught. Because there will be a race war. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Every time they kill us, what is that thing they're saying? Because they want to go ahead and do what? They want to go ahead and start the race war. How are you going to fight a race war and you ain't got no hospital? Where are you going to go? Go right back to the enemy's hospital? And you think this is the way we're going to win? We got to mature now. And understand that we are on deck. We are on deck. So we can't go back and complain about what Martin did. Or we can't keep talking about what Malcolm did. We can't keep talking about what 
uh, Marcus Garvey did. Mm -hmm. Now we've been taught, right? What is the evidence of the teaching? What is the evidence that we've been taught, right? The evidence is that we take that knowledge and put it to use, put it to an exchange and produce a product. And without a product, you can't say that you've really been educated. Without a product, you can't say that you really got a master plan. Not without a product. So we got to do what we got to do. We got to take Mississippi. We got to take Mississippi. It ain't a joke. It ain't a pastime. This is real life. I, I listened to our sister Noble as she was opening up and she was expressing the reality that she sees. Now, I don't see the reality like that. But I can tell you, Sister Noble, that we work every day, every day to construct a reality based on freedom, justice, and equality for our people so that they can understand the time and what must be done and break away from that, that slave-making religion. Because that is the one of the most damnable things that the enemy give you their religion, give you them to worship them as God. And you sitting around, walking around, talking about, well, I'm going to get mine in the by and by. Ain't no goddamn by and by. You're going to get it right here or you ain't going to never have it. Mm -hmm. That's the way it got to be. You got to have the actual facts. And anything less is just not going to work today. No more smoking mirrors. No more playing nice. This is wartime. And we got to do what's necessary. And if we don't do it, then what? Then what you were saying is untruthful. Now, we all know, and I'm going to rush this up, but we all know the nation of Islam teaches that God came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, July 4th, 1930. Now, this is over 80 years ago. We're over 80 years. What is the movement of our people? Or better yet, we what is the movement? of the nation of Islam, all right? We got to be critical. I'm not jamming nobody, but we got we to gotta analyze where we are. Because if we say God came in the person of this man in 1930, and we in 2020, and we still begging the same cracker, we're still dealing with the same situation. Then we got to under ask the self, did he come? And have we done by the information that he gave? Did we do right? We got to be able to ask these questions. And in truth, in truth, we did not do right. Because Operation Exodus or B1 Mississippi should have already been done. Yes, that's right. It should have already be done, been done. But it hasn't. Why? Why has what has stopped you from the movement? Because you have gotten comfortable. The lessons say Master Farad Muhammad saw himself pushing the Fords and the DuPonts and the Rockefellers in a lake of fire. And the believer will sit back and say, well, I'm going to wait to see Master Farad Muhammad do the pushing. And I can cheer him on doing the pushing. And you still suffering. See, you misunderstand the teaching. The teaching is not for you to wait for somebody else to come and do it. The teaching is for you to get out there and do it. Right. And by you doing it, then you see Master Farad Muhammad doing it. 
by you taking, Brother Talek, by you taking on the exodus and moving forward. That's the work of liberation. That's the work of killing the nigga. That's the work of, of making them free. That's the living embodiment of the teachings of Master Farad Muhammad, if God came in his person. And I believe he did. And that's why we are not waiting for to see nobody push. We're out there pushing. But there's a problem with our people. We suffer from anxiety, worry. What the white man going to say? What the white man going to do if you're talking about going to Mississippi? That white man ain't going to let you. Right. Well, God damn, coward. Why you always want to put everything on what the white man going to let you do? Are you a man or are you a faggot? Mm. We got to just be real. Cracker ain't going to stop you. But if you want to suffer anxiety, if you want to always be a slave, then you'll have no movement. So I'm going to say, dear brother, I thank you for having the vision, having the forethought, and having the courage. Because even when you sent me your email, it wasn't like we were on best buddy terms. <laughs> and you send it anyway. And when <laughs> I read it, I said, excellent. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Why? Why? Because I knew it was right. I knew it was right. And so that made an obligation on me to pick up and do. And I thank you, dear brother, and I thank you that you're taking your obligation and you're bringing it forward and you have not given in. You have not let discouragement stop you from doing and growing into the position and into the person, the man that you're growing into becoming. And because we're all still growing yeah. into that role that we should be doing. So I thank you and I salute you. And I turn the mic over to you, big brother. Thank you. Brother thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to give all of you a round of applause. You in the chat room, give this panel a round of applause, okay? I truly know that this is the best out of all my Soul Liberation days. This is the best one ever. This panel here, the energy, the vibe, the strength. I don't even have to say nothing. I really can just, I can end it. But y'all don't want me to end it. Y'all want to hear what I have to say in my little... <laughs> I'm very sure, especially the trolls, because they want to hear what you got to say so they can analyze and make mockery of you and try to use that against you. You know, so I'm going to do that for you, troll. I'm going to give you something so that y'all can talk about, so that you can go to bed, you know, and you be happy and satisfied. I'm going to give you something to work with uh, tonight. But there's one thing that you cannot make mockery of this panel, this coming together here, this fire. You can't say nothing negative about that. You got Brother Maurice here. How many of y'all thought Brother Maurice would be right here, especially on Soul Liberation Day? <laughs> the most important gathering of the year. Brother Maurice sitting on the panel. Brother Maurice is the one introducing me. <laughs> That's messing up y'all's mind, ain't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all that stuff. Well, well. I, so you don't understand you're immature, just like the brother said, you're immature, you're comfortable Negro. You know, you're just looking for entertainment. This is not about, this is not about entertainment. We're gonna talk about that. My brother Omar on the panel. I just met that brother, what, less than a week, I believe. Mm. Talked about four hours. Brother had me, <laughs> brother had me with tears in my eyes. Mm. The, wisdom, the wisdom coming from him. Oh man, I lost my sister Nova. Sister Nova, your device is not connected. We'll get her, we'll get her, we'll get her back in. Oh, there she go. But uh gotta have my baby, baby case, sister Nova. Gotta have her on the panel. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. 
Yeah, there she go. Talk with that brother for for four hours. And uh, when he started talking and he, he was telling me how uh, he was attracted to those words Exodus in the title Mississippi. And he began to explain that he had a vision of, of us taking control of the South. And it just made, it made me to think that you don't never give up. You're on the right path and you need to keep trucking or in this keep on that track and keep chugging down the road. That's what it made me to think, made me to know. Then right behind him, I got my sister Omega contacting me. I'm like, wow, the fire just keeps coming. The fire keeps burning. I must be doing something right. <laughs> I must be. So I thank all of you, my brother Omar, sister Courtney, my sister Noble, brother Muhammad, of course, on speakerphone. Uh, Nebraska technology has not up with the time, so brother Talib is on the, on the uh, speakerphone. I'm so happy to have this panel. And we don't want to forget Talib. He's on the speakerphone. So brother Talib is on the panel with us. So uh, just want to remind everybody. And uh, I just want to talk a few minutes. And uh, we want to call it a, a night. Uh, it's 6.30. Is, it, is everybody all right? Need a yes, bathroom? Right? <laughs> okay. Let me do this. Let me run through this real quick. As always, in the name of our ancestors, peace forever. And always, I thank you so much for joining us uh, for Soul Liberation Day 2021. Uh, I am the gatekeeper or the host of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth. I'm Angel Snow Number Seven. And I am also your soul brother, number one. And folks got problems with me saying soul brother. Oh, what, what is y'all? What is y'all problem? You got problems. You, 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 you live your life there. Every time you turn around, you got a problem. Uh, come on now. Bring some joy to yourself. Stop taking things so seriously. Even though we do in this day and time, we have to take things very, very seriously because uh, we're living in the jaws of a, of a dangerous, vicious enemy here that don't mean us any good. Mm -hmm. Now, this is coming to the end of the year 2020. We began the year, I was looking at my cell phone and uh, I noticed a title from, um, from a website, it said, it said Kobe Bryant. And when I seen Kobe Bryant's name, cause, cause Kobe is retired, he's not playing basketball like he was and, and whatever. And I saw Kobe Bryant's name and I'm like, when I saw that, I didn't see the story. I don't even know what the story is or anything, but a chill came down fine as they say. And when I saw that name, hold up a second, hold up. When I saw that name, Kobe, I, like I said, chills ran down my spine. And when I went to the internet, it was the beginning of the reporting that there was a terrible helicopter crash. And then of course we find out that it was the uh, helicopter that Kobe Bryant and his daughter and others were riding in and uh, there were no survivors. So the year for us started off pretty bad and unexpected. This this brother, what, only 40 some years old? Very unexpected. And now we lost one of the greatest basketball players, you know, that come from among us, Kobe Bryant. And then it seemed like tragedy after tragedy. And of course, the the nail or the hammer that put the nail in the coffin is of course this COVID thing. And it's just bad, bad, one after the other people experiencing these things in this country. A very terrible, and the year 2020 
will not be soon forgotten. You talk about New Year. No, this will not be soon forgotten for years to come. This is something that has affected generations. They're going to be talking about COVID-19. And this is, and it's not over. We're going into the year 2021 with COVID. And of course, they're reporting a new strain. So it's, it's a long way from being over. And then my own personal reality that I had to deal with, I found out that I had a, a serious medical problem, a, a, an intestinal blockage, and I had to uh, undergo, uh, I thought it was going to be, well, all surgery, all surgery is major, but I thought I would be going through just a slight tight procedure or, or whatever. That's what I thought. But it turned out to be a very uh, seven hour uh, procedure. And of course, prior to, to that, you thinking about your own mortality because you can suffer complications and you can go into surgery and you, you're not gonna, you may not come out alive. And that's what happened to, to many people. But I was, I was all right with that. And it did not bother me because I think you know, when they put you to sleep for surgery and you never wake up, I think that's one of the best ways to go out, <laughs> really, to be quite honest. You know, you, you just go to sleep and you never wake up. You know, uh, you have people being fired upon, get shot 30, 40 times and sliced up and, you know, like cold. And I can't even imagine the feeling of being in a helicopter and this thing is going, crashing down. You have, I mean, it happens quickly, but Yo, I mean, your whole, your, your mind is going, that you're going to die. You know it, chances are. Or you're going to be so hurt, you're going to be so hurt up, you wish you was dead. Mm. It's terrible. That's a terrible thing. And so I'm thinking about my own mortality. And then, of course, I, after all that time has went by, I, I met my brother Omar and we talked. And I don't know how long I have left on this planet. I, I don't know, none of us know how much time that we have left on this planet. But since I do have an idea that is sooner than I might think, I have an idea some of us don't know. I want to say, I got in contact with, with brother Maurice because he reached out to me when he found out that I was in the hospital and he said to me in a in a mail, email, Facebook, Messenger, I forgot which one. But he reached out to me and he said, I'm, I did not know that you was in the hospital. I could have come to, to visit you and all like that. What can I say? What can you say when a person shows some type of caring when you have those who wishing they did? They're happy that you are in this condition. And we know that the, the back and forth that my brother Maurice have had in the in the past, but that's that's in the past. I've known brother Maurice since at least 2013. Brother Maurice been kicking my ass since 2013. <laughs> and because he didn't like what I had to do about Mr. Farrakhan, and he wanted to kick my ass over that and whatever. <laughs> this, is what, this is what brother Maurice can bear witness to. Even though we was going back and forth, Brother Maurice would go on these blog talk radio shows and debate these people over whatever the topic was. I was there cheering and backing Maurice on, and I told him you did a good job in your debate. That's right. That is true. Him. That is the I truth. And he wanted to kick my ass. <laughs> now, Earlier this year, I did not want to, but there were certain individuals that you saw that I had to ban, or I banned. Now you would think Brother Maurice would have been on that on that list, but you see, <laughs> Brother Maurice never was on the list, and a whole lot of other folks you thought might be on that list. And I want to explain why they made the list and others did not make the list. Again, I'm gonna stay with Brother Maurice because Brother Maurice is here. And Brother Maurice is here 
to defend himself or say that I'm a liar, call me a liar. <laughs> he has no problem with that. Like I said, I've known Brother Maurice since 2013. Brother Maurice is a good brother. I invited Brother Maurice to go see Envo with me in St. Louis, mm -hmm. him and his wife and his, and his children. So we do go back and forth. But see, what we have to understand is we, we talk about it, but when it actually happened, we get caught up in our emotions. That's what happened with, with, with family. You don't expect family to agree with everything. I have a biological brother right now, and he's a, uh, you know, we're going back and forth and we're not getting along to because of ideological uh, uh, differences or, or whatever. But that's still my brother. And my biological brother come to see me in the hospital when I had my surgery, no matter, no matter our, our differences or whatever going back. Brother Maurice has shown me through the years and through his actions and his talk that he's serious. He's a serious individual. He's a sincere individual. And he's always, to me, he's always growing always maturing the maurice that you see on the panel today is not the maurice that was going back and forth with me two years ago it's not the same person no nope. this maurice has matured since then and that's what it's all about our maturity our being able to stop being a hypocrite talk about that's my brother and be your brother you can't expect your family. You have family members that don't care nothing about what you're talking about. You have family members that don't believe what you're talking about. Are you going to ask them, maybe your mother and father, because they don't care nothing about what you're talking about? Y'all can Family don't do that. When I was growing up, family stuck together, even though, even though they knew a family member was totally 1,000% wrong. I'm scared so-and-so. When he committed that murder, well, we'll we'll deal we'll deal with that when the time comes. I'm standing with my family, and family stick together. So, when Brother Maurice come to me and tell me he's a uh, wish wish me well when I was going through my sickness and still going through my sickness, how can I how can I tell him? Oh man, go go somewhere and suck an egg or or something. How can I do that? <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't. I can't. I can't do that. When somebody's trying to do you right, when somebody's showing you some type of care, the best thing that you can do, the wise thing that you can, and the most civil thing that you can do, is just give them the benefit of of a doubt and just say, "Okay, brother, you know, I wish you back." Will there be problems in the future? Who knows? <laughs> there was problems in the past but one thing and this is another thing that I remember I don't know brother Maurice if you remember I've been trying to find you but I know you said it it's on that video it's in one of our live streams when, when all of us was together uh, Guy Craig and the gang when all of us were together you told them brother you might disagree with Tully you might not like something that he said but you told them brothers Talik love our people. You told them that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I wish I could find the video, but I know that you said it. I was there. It's yep. this. I, I have it was like three hours long, or whatever. And mm -hmm. I look, go up, you know, listen to you no know, straight three hours and four hours mm -hmm. long. I'm not it. But I know that you had said, and I all that that so so is Maurice going to if if, is Maurice going to say that? And because now that you have a falling out, are you going to go against your word? Are you going to, or was you telling a lie? Or are you going to stand on your rock? That's what you said. And it was true to you. Mm -hmm. That's so right. Apparently, That's so apparently it's true because Brother Maurice is right here with me. And some of y'all don't like that. You don't understand. Let's talk about these brothers that's, that's banned. Okay. Now one, one brother 
and you can co correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. One brother had a problem with me because I don't want to be an African. And then he began to try to push that ideology on me. I don't, I don't like that. Don't, don't try to force, tell me who and what I am. I told you what I am. Now, when I come to your platform, I'm an African. If I come to your platform, I could be a Hebrew Israelite. That stuff don't bother me none. To put a title, whatever. Because as far as the white man's concerned, you're all niggas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so it don't make no difference. Mm -hmm. Y'all a bunch of slaves, bunch of feral slaves that need to be exterminated, as far as he's concerned. So all those is lottie da stuff that don't mean nothing anyway, because you live in another man's land and he dictate you which who and what you are. I don't care what you say out your mouth. Because you want to go back to Africa. You got to go to him for your passport. And you're mm -hmm. going to identify yourself according to what he understands and what he knows, not about what you're talking about. That's just facts. So you have a brother that want to, he gets angry because I, and I refuse to call myself an African. And then he comes on my page and uh, tries to make mockery of the Mississippi campaign, and then he makes mockery of Sister Noble, calls her a mammy, and makes mockery of, of Brother Talib, how he talks or whatever. That, that, that's that 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 uh, you know that can't that's that uh that's a no no. We can't we can't do that. We can't do that. And then the straw that broke the camel's back is that when he started flagging my channels down mm. and almost succeeded. I mean, why you got to go all this? Because you disagree with what I'm talking about? You got to go through all that drama? It's not that serious. He expresses this hatred towards me. So why you want to keep talking and messing with me if you hate me like that? So let me do you a favor and just I just ban you, make sure that I stay away from you. That's good for me. That's good for you. Now, because I love us. I can open the door because I love us. I don't hold grudges because if I held some kind of grudge, Brother Muhammad wouldn't be here. That's right. I don't hold grudges. I, I don't hate nobody. I don't go around trying to start trouble and problems with nobody. But this is the reality's temple. I got to keep it real. I got to say how I feel. Otherwise, I'm fake. Mm hmm now, just because we cool, does that mean I have to back down on what, how I feel about certain ideologies and beliefs because we cool? We cool, but I still have this viewpoint of this ideology or this belief. But you don't want me to talk about it. You want me to be quiet and sit. But I, I'm not being real. I'm being fake. Because I don't want to piss you off because I want to have this relationship with you. It's a <laughs> fake relationship. It's a fake relationship. That's right. Because I cannot express how I really feel. Mm -hmm. So why do you want a fake relationship? Now, I understand how I talk. And I talk about religion. And I talk about pro-black things. I can talk about black furs. I, I talk pretty bad, sound really bad about certain things sometimes. I understand that. But I don't know how other to express myself. I try to be as civil and nice as possible, but when I'm when I'm talking, I just have to be, I have to be me. Why can't we, if we disagree with whatever, how come we how come we can't just say, oh that's totally, you know how he wrote. Because we all we all supposed to be on the same page. Despite those ideological religious beliefs we are, we supposed to be against one enemy. All that other stuff we can deal with, just like as soon as the sister said, or, or one of the panelists said, you can deal with that after you become liberated. Because all that stuff, nothing as long as you live in another man's house, getting your getting bent over. It don't, that don't mean nothing. So what? So I don't think I'm in the wrong. I'm in it because 
We was talking about separation and an exodus and divorce. Sometimes it's good for not to, to interact. If you feel that way with me like that, then your best bet, just like Dr. Neely Full used to say, it's best that we don't interact and, and deal with one another because it's going it's just cause a serious problem. Dr. Fuller Jr. said that this that the uh the once called Negro, we shouldn't even talk to another because we you know we can't get along. It just makes the problem even worse. So why even talk to one another? Be silver and we can't discuss. We can't, we're supposed to be adults and cannot have a civil discussion. Somebody got to get him. On. And this is another thing. Folks start calling me Coon and Uncle Tom and all these different names and telling me what I believe, which is which was not true. I don't advocate certain things. So when I start fighting back, I have the self-defense. So when I start fighting back and call them a sewer rat, and I forgot what else I was saying, call whatever. They get all upset. Wait, wait a minute. You can call me a coon, and you can call me Uncle Tom, and you can call me all these other names, but I can't fire back at you. I'm supposed to sit back and take it. No, I'm not. I have the self defense. You're telling lies on me. I don't advocate this. So I have a right to self defense. What's wrong with that? I don't think, well, I know I have the right to, to, to self-defense and that's what I do. So then you had somebody that basically donated $1 to my uh, medical fund, like it's a joke. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was, that was the end because this person, I mean, everything is a joke. This person's, uh, uh agenda, their intent is simply to try to show me that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm saying to, to make mockery and degrade. And you give me, you're going to send me $1 to my medical fund. It's a joke. I don't, that, I don't, I, that's, it's, it's not funny. Seven hours of surgery is not funny. Mm. Going through illness is not funny and pain it's not it's not it's not funny so uh, i know how you feel about me why you want to be around me and you don't like me like that you need to go on about your business and then this person flagged my channel i know because mm -hmm. i got i know for sure because i got the copyright notice mm -hmm. so i had to let that person go now the last person, as you see, I'm not mentioning no name. The last person I'm sort of funny with because I can see deep down in, inside that he's a good person. The, the brother recognized me when I was all raggedy in my uh, truck driving clothes. I mean, I, I didn't have no, sh you know, didn't shave for days, uh, oily smelling diesel car. He recognized me from years. I ain't heard from this brother in years. And he recognized me. And that means a lot to me that he will remember me all these years. And going back then, again, we had problems. He talked about kicking my ass. Everybody want to kick my ass. What's up with that? We want to kick my ass too. <laughs> Before Brother Maurice, because I met this brother in 2009. <laughs> you know. And he wanted to kick my ass in 2009. And by the time 2013 rolled around, Brother Marie said, I'll take over. I'll kick the ass the rest of the, the, rest of the uh, decade. <laughs> I'll take over from here. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why these people got this thing about kicking my ass. I don't know what it is. They just, something about my ass that's just, just you know, just their, their foot is attracted to my ass. They just kick pow, pow, pow. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> You know, that's a lot of ass kicking. A lot of years getting your ass whooped. You know, <laughs> he won ass. That's a lot of years. A lot of years. <laughs> but uh, the brother, um, <laughs> yeah. somebody want to kick my ass. The brother, <laughs> uh, 
brother, um, <laughs> the problem that we have here, the brother's a good, good, good brother. And I, and, and, uh, I really sort of felt bad about really jumping the gun, putting him, putting him in that band category because he, he's really a, a person. And, and I know he's a good person simply because of, of his action. Now, problem also was that I was a sick, I'm sick, I'm sick now, but I was, I had, I was feeling worse back then. And he wanted me to debate some Pan African person or whatever. And I'm not doing that. I told him, I don't, I don't do that debate stuff. I don't do that with, with people like that. Cause most people, are emotional. I believe that myself and Brother Reese, because of where we stand right now, I actually think that we could come together and have a serious debate. People could actually analyze and because Brother Maurice has matured a lot since that time. But a lot of these people, they they get too they get emotional too too fast, and 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 you can't you they, you can't you can't talk with them. And I, I refuse to debate this person, and that's where the anger come in. And then the brother start really talking bad about the Mississippi campaign, start talking about me and I mean, just, he just went whatever. And what must be understood is that I'm a human being. That's right. I'm a human being. I hurt, I cry. You may not believe it, I do. I hurt, I cry, my feelings get hurt and things of this nature. This is something that Michael Jackson used to talk about. You know, the things that in the media or whatever, I'm a, he's a human being. The things that people say, especially the lies, you know, it's a hurtful thing. So maybe I think I probably overreacted. Shouldn't have put him on that bad list so quick like that. But a certain thing, how he was talking about that Mississippi campaign, that's bull doo doo. Ain't nobody listening to you. Ain't nobody listening to Noble. Ain't no time live. You know, blah, 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 blah. I'm living a comfortable life. Uh, my truck driving jobs, my family start, you know, just going up. If you, if you really feel that way about me, why you want to hang on this path? Why you want to hang like this? And if you have a problem like that, you're on the platform. You can ease, you can challenge, you can challenge or bring up the ideas to me anytime you feel like. It. But you're not gonna do that because you know you're gonna get shot down. You're keep it yourself. You're gonna keep it to yourself. But you know, I'm not gonna let nobody come here and shoot down the Mississippi campaign. I'm not doing that. Because you don't have nothing better than Operation Exodus Mississippi. I know that and you know that. And again, I offer anybody, if you think that you got something better than the Mississippi campaign and you can hold from crime, bring your happy ass to the forum, I'll debate you and show you within the in a few minutes before you can even get started. Campaign is the best solution, the most realistic solution that we, as as the once called niggas this country, that's the best solution that we got here. Whether it's the Mississippi Initiative or whether it's Operation Exit in Mississippi, it don't make no difference as long as you take the control of something. You don't run nothing, no neighborhood, no city, no town. Y'all don't even run your house. Your children run your house. That's why you buy them, buy them them damn five hundred dollar joy. <laughs> and you still buy all them Christmas presents. Well, uh, the, the the kids at school doing it. You break down, and you got you you are you are you are uh, red, black, and green. And we saw a picture of a red, black, and green. He got Christmas all over his all his uh, page, and mm. he blocked me so I can't see his page no more. But it's too late, bro. Mm. Already seen RBG in a Santa Claus outfit. Mm. You don't even run your house. Mm, mm, mm. So I, I, you know, I, I have feelings. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I never come on this platform and told you that I'm perfect. I never said I'm perfect. I don't mistake things of this nature. I don't. I don't say that. I never tell you that I'm some type of Christ or Messiah. I never felt. The hate in 2020 towards me. I've been to these people, except be me. I have a problem with religion. I express myself. 
have a problem with spirituality. I express myself. I have a problem with a lot of this pro-black, pan-African, blackity black tea. I have a problem with them. If you can't handle me having a problem with it, you shouldn't be around me. You can't take it. Because I'm going to express myself, me. Because if I'm not me, I'm fake. And why you want to be around somebody that's fake? You want to be me. And if you can control your tears and your emotion, we can have a debate the issue. But see, I don't really like debates because when it's all said and done, you still going to believe what you believe. You're not going to change your mind. I see all these debates. And whoever believed in whatever, I didn't see nobody mind get you. They still was the same. Oh, we learning. How you learning? You ain't learning nothing. The only thing you are there is to cheer your chum. Go get them, uh, uh, Atma Osmos. Uh, go get them, Brother Polite. Go get them, Sarah Sun said it. You know, on your pastor, your preacher. Because that's all that they are. They're not revolutionaries. Then there's nothing but us in preaching. So debating is is, 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 is worthless. It don't mean anything. Cheer on your hero, whether he lose the debate or not. Oh, so-and-so won. It was quite obvious, but you still going to say that so-and-so won because that's your boy. You know, that's, that's your lady friend. Most sisters don't get involved in all these debates. But Brother Maurice is here because I don't hate. I don't hate us. And we go through emotional things, but I don't hate nobody. Now, if I hate somebody, we know who that is. That's this vicious enemy that we have to deal with. He has earned the hate, mm -hmm. the lynching, the discrimination, the murder, and the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. He's earned hate. That's right. You and I shouldn't be that way. That's right. We are supposed to be against him. I'm not interested in hating you. I have no reason to hate you like that. So I, you know, but I cannot maintain it because I love us. I don't hate, I don't hate brother. Fire. I don't hate Marcus Garvey. I don't hate African. None of that stuff that y'all be talking about. I love us. And I stand with those who have been the victim of these vicious beasts. I know who the enemy is. Let me make a few more points. I'm going to let us go. Just want to put that person out there. My door is open to us. Some of you understand. And you hold these grudges. We cannot, cannot afford to hold these grudges. Because unification is the only thing that's going to get us out of this. We got to have unity. That's why I don't care how many times Brother Maurice kicked my ass, I'm going to keep reaching out. I got to. Because unity is the only thing that's going to help us get out of here. We're going to learn how to work even though we have differences of opinion or whatever. Learn how to grow up and get out of that. You think that these Pecker Woods, you think George Washington and Patrick Henry, all them suckers, you think they agree with one another and it was this lovey dubby thing? No. Mm -hmm. They understood they was oppressed by this by mama. And they're gonna have to get mama off their back. All this other stuff, we can all they did. They argued and debated after they won their once once they uh, earned their freedom. They liberate themselves. Mm -hmm. You can argue about Pan-Africanism or Black First or Hebrew Israelite. All that stuff, do it after you get free, after you become liberated. And you can do that all day long. I'll be sitting on the maybe Gulf Coast beach getting a tan while y'all arguing and stuff over there. Mm. You know, because I'm not really interested. You know, you go to the colleges and the universities and y'all can argue and debate that stuff 24 hours till you're blue in the face. But now do it and you earned it because now you liberated and you free.
That's right. And you earn the right to do it. Right mm -hmm. now, it's nothing but fame. Mm -hmm. And it's not taking you nowhere. It's nothing but entertainment. Something for something for a feral slave to do. Because I don't know better to do. I'm not fighting the enemy. I'm not taking it to the enemy. It's just something for a slave to do. Mm -hmm. Hold on. My favorite TV show getting ready to come on. See, that's how y'all do. Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> what you're talking about is cool, but the Super Bowl getting ready to come on. I That's remember right. Saul Sudan said he was doing a speech to hurry up because he knew his people, the Super Bowl was getting ready to come on. That's a damn shame. Mm. That's, That's a right. damn shame. That goes to show you. Now, here you are in an atmosphere, Black Power Family Hotel. Want to go see the crackers run up and down with a, <laughs> with a football. That's what's mm. on your mind. And you wonder why we're not liberated in 2020. Because mm. we chasing football game. Can't wait to the NBA, blah, blah, black mm. power. You know, going back to that Pan-African, he's wearing his Washington Redskins jackets, all this stuff. Still caught up in the Pecklewood world and you're going to turn around and tell me I'm, I need to be African. You're not no damn African. You're wearing a Santa Claus hat and a Washington Redskins jacket. <laughs> What type mm. of pattern are you? <laughs> I'm not trying to make my that's why he expresses himself. Mm. And he wants me to be like you. No, if I'm Marcus Garvey, I'm gonna be down. For real. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be so down, I've probably been in jail over the stuff of I'm mm. not nothing to play with. When I was in the nation of Islam, I was ready to kick. I'm not playing with you. If Minister Farrakhan had gave the order to do whatever, it's done. I'm not, I would not, I'm not here to play with you. Is the enemy playing with you? No. You got to get serious, just like your enemy is serious. He's not playing with you. He's ready mm. to take out. Do you understand? Mm. And the only thing you want to do is go out to dinner with your girlfriend. Red Lobster. <laughs> that's what. That's the only thing on your mind. <laughs> you know, trying to get in somebody's panties. You know, that's, that's the only thing on your mind. You know, taking all these babies. And cave, don't even produce, you don't produce baby milk. You don't produce baby doctors. Babies, oh, nothing. Wow. All of it. Black power crap. All of it. Everything that you do come from your your you're not ready. Just like mm. Brother Muhammad said, Mississippi campaign should have been done long time ago. <laughs> long time ago. That's right. Do you know why the Mississippi campaign exists? Do you know why Angel Snub Number Seven exists? Come on now. The reason why I exist. Is because of your of the failure of those prior to me. That's why I exist. Because if you were successful, or if what you're doing was actually making progress, there will be no need for me to show up. But you're missing something. You're lacking something. You're staying in the past. I was talking to Brother Omar. Stay too much in the past. Instead of dealing with the present and having vision for the future. And the Mississippi campaign has all those components. Every component that you need to be successful is in, is in, this, is in the Mississippi campaign. Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign, the full title. Exodus, you need to lead. Campaign, because you are at war. This is a campaign. You need to look at Mississippi like you're going to war. And we're getting ready to take over these towns and these cities. We're taking over this country. Go ahead taking, now. Taking control of the country. I want to get that straight because because they, they like to use words against you. What you mean, <laughs> take it over? No, we want to take control. We want to take control of it. Really to be the same thing because we still took over, but you know, that's just for the sake of language. What you mean, take over? Want to call you a domestic terrorist and all that other crazy nonsense. Exactly. So, 
That's the reason why. The reason why Brother Marie exists. And Come he was attracted to the Mississippi campaign idea. Because it's time for a change, a new strategy, a new way of looking at things, doing things. That's right. Things are good. You can incorporate those ideas, but it has to be under one umbrella. One army. Moving forward in, in one time. You see how armies march? The soldiers don't. These This group of soldiers go this way, and the other one go that They march in time together. In rhythm. That's right. And that's what happens with the Mississippi campaign. You come together under one umbrella, you march in time in rhythm. One goal, one purpose, one right. destiny, one plan. You put all these factions together under one umbrella and move forward. If you if you lose, you lose. But if you win, you win big, you win big, we do it together. Win or lose. That's right. But you do it together. And you can say, I honestly made an attempt to do this. That's right. Now, we haven't evolved. So, Liberation Day, because that's what we need. Liberation. You should want that. Aren't you that's excited? Right. Aren't you excited? No. Yes, sir. No, they, they, they ain't excited. They, they ain't excited about it. Because just like the brother said, I'm sorry, y'all was all, I, I was listening to so many people, I forgot who said it. But they're comfortable in this oppression. They're comfortable in this oppression. So how can you be excited about liberation? Liberation means work. That's right. And you don't want to do a whole lot of work. You want somebody else to do the work for you. That's mm -hmm. why Jesus will fix it. Yes, he will. Jesus. Come on, brother Muhammad. Come on with me. Jesus. <laughs> after, uh, I, was, I was in church with Sister Nova doing that. Jesus will fix it. Yes, he will fix it. I was doing that. That's how, that's how they do it. <laughs> waiting, on, waiting on the mother plane. Mm -hmm. Waiting on. Uh, Somebody to come and do something. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's on, it's on us. That's right. A man put us in this condition. It's going to take men to get us out of the condition. Your problem right. is you're not, you're not a damn man. Go ahead. And people get on my case because I talk about black men. You put black men down and my soul brothers down, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm trying to lift you up, get you to show you that you're not a man. You need to work yourself way to get back to that. Mm -hmm. If we was men, ain't no man wanna be a slave for nobody for no damn 400 years. Come on now. You had to be broken. That's right. And the reason why you're still broken, because you're not a man. Because a man is not gonna sit around here and continue to have babies in his oppressed house and your wife and your children know that you're not really the provider. Another man is no. doing the damn provider. That's right. That's we, don't produce, right. we don't produce food, clothing, shelter, electricity, gas, nothing. Mm -hmm. It all comes from the Pecklewood. You should be, you should be embarrassed as a man. A man don't want to live in another man's house. Here you are living in this country. It's not, you're not, you're not an equal. You don't make no laws. Come on now. You don't make no policy. You just hear it. And you complain. Well, my come son, on. how come I didn't get an extra biscuit, my Because I don't give you no damn extra biscuit. That's why. <laughs> that's why I didn't get that's why you didn't get an extra biscuit. That's all you can do. No justice, no pee. How long we been saying no justice, no pee. And you you got those old signs back in the day. Remember, you put the sign over your shoulder telling I am a man. Why Come on, man. Why you gotta put a, a sign on you telling I am a man? You 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 don't know? You, they, they don't know that that's what you are. Come on now. Have you ever seen a lion have to put a sign telling I am a lion? Oh, you're gonna find out. Oh, you're gonna Say find out. If you don't believe it, you're gonna find out. That's right. I have to put on no damn sign. 
That's right. When I was locked up with them Pecker Woods and they was dealing with me, I didn't have to tell them who I was. Come on. They found out who they was dealing with. That's right. I didn't have to put on no sign. Go ahead. And even though I don't, I lost a lot of years. Yeah, they kicked my ass like Brother Maurice and the other and Brother Gary, whatever. They, they kicked my ass for a long time. When it's all said and done, I whooped them. I whooped them. Embarrassed the hell out of them. That's they, right. told me, they told me uh, it can't be done. You can't get out of here without our permission. Wrong. Mm. I used your law and got out. And mm. there's nothing that you could do about it. That's why I'm telling you the Mississippi campaign comes from that foundation that you can use the law. Take their gun and shoot them with it. Go ahead. That's where we're coming from. That's Understand, right. whatever tools they give you, use it against them. That's right. The Panther Party was a prime example, except they didn't keep it going. They found loophole, loopholes in the law. Then the pecker would turn around and close the loopholes. Keep finding them. They, there's plenty of them. Keep searching for them. Keep making that pecker wood change the law. That's right. Keep them on their feet. Keep them working. Your ass, your ass should have plenty of energy because we've been doing all the working for the last 300, 400 years. You should have plenty of energy to do some work. That's right. You should be excited about your liberation. When some, when I present Soul Liberation Day, people talk about what is that? You should be excited. That's you right. You should be happy about it. Being liberated, your soul mm. out, out from under this vicious beast. That's right. You should be happy, but they're not. They're, mm. And you have pro black folks talking all that blackity black stuff. They're comfortable too. And that's why they don't like Angel Snub Nub Seven because, because they know, I know that you're fake. You're not really real. Mm. I told you back in the day, I'm, I'm, I was willing. I'm willing to do almost anything. I'm not. It, it, it's not a game to me. You're not ready to down the battlefield. You're not Come ready. On. You see your grandkids grow up. How the hell are you gonna be a soldier and you tell me I want to see my grandchildren grow? Up? That means you don't have no interest in your liberation because. You have to understand, many soldiers have never seen their grandchildren. That's right. You may not never see. You won't see your grandchildren. You won't, you won't, you won't see too much of nothing because you're putting your life on the line to make better for your grandchildren. That's right. Malcolm X and all his grandchildren. Dr. King never seen his grandchildren. That's right. Not on the battlefield. That's right. Many of the people that fought the Revolutionary War, they did not see their future generations. They didn't see none of that. That's right. But that's what happened when you're a soldier. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that. You know, your wife and the, and the children, if you have, they have to understand, I'm a soldier. I'm leaving the house, but I might not come back. Go ahead. Say See, that. when we are in Mississippi and we're in control of Mississippi, we become soldiers. Your wife and your children have to understand when we go to war, I might not be coming back, baby. That's right. I'm in defense of our nation. That's right. Because that's what it really is going to become our nation in a nation for real. That's right. Not no title, not no title. Talk about nation or the Islam. And you really an organization. No, we have a country, we have a state capital. We got a real army, not no, I'm not making market, but we don't have no FOI. We have real soldiers getting paid by our taxpayers to defend our nation. That's right. A That's nation. Right. So you will be having a nation in a nation, and we are soldiers, and we take control of Mississippi, and our next, the next place we want to take, we want to get Alabama. We want to get Georgia. We want to get Tennessee. We want to stay, we want to be confident. We want to start taking over. We want to start taking over countries. The country of Alabama, the country of Tennessee, the country of Georgia. You should be excited to be in this moment in time, being part of it, to become the great generation ever produced. You should be happy to be part of it. That's right. 
our ancestors had an opportunity to do it after the Civil War. But the Pecos, as you know, chased them out of the South. Domestic mm -hmm. terrorists. They was on their way to do these things anyway. That's right. Not a new idea. The only thing I'm doing and Brother Maurice is doing, the only thing we're doing is continuing mm -hmm. on what they left us, the left they left. We, on, we try to do what they couldn't do. That's right. It can't be done. It was already being done. That's right. You should be excited. Well, we're doing the work. Yes, you hear people say we're doing the work. We got a lot going on. Hmm. People tell me, uh, don't mess with Angel Snap Nap Sam. He ain't doing nothing anyway. We doing the work. Hmm. What kind of work you that you doing? From 2010 to 2020, if you put all this black power stuff together, what have they accomplished? Thousands of followers, lots of money. Put it all together from 2010 to 2020. What have they accomplished? Now you see the leadership riding around in, in, in better cars and, and, and fancy houses. You see that. But you don't see, you don't see a lot of activity. Now, since you don't give Angel Snub Nub Seven nothing, you shouldn't expect nothing from Angel Snub Nub Seven. Now, the difference between them and Angel Snub Nub Seven, you give Angel Snub Nub Seven. My conscience bothers me if I cannot produce for you. That's right. My conscience bothers me. I'm not interested in driving around in, in fancy cars and living in fancy houses and all like that. Because when it's all said and done, that don't mean nothing when you're dead. Mm. It don't mean nothing. So what? Said a mouthful. Mm -hmm. it don't mean nothing to you when you're dead. Those who are my age, around my age, this generation, a lot of us, we might have 20, 30 years left in our lives. All our energy, everything about us should be in the liberation of this generation. That's right. You should be willing to give your life. You're not ready to live your life. You're over 50 or close to. You already did your thing. You had your children. You drove your fancy car. You got your stupid degree on the wall. You didn't live your life. Now give your life to your people. Mm, say that. Give your life to your people. That's right. Don't tell me that you do all this 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 work. You do all this work, but you have time to make videos and whatever about Angel Snub Number Seven. You have time to make videos about Sister Oval. You have time to make all these different videos. When a person is busy. Now, I worked in the fast food business. Mm. When we got busy, you didn't have time to do nothing except mm. keep buying them hamburgers or whatever you're doing. Mm. You don't have time to be talking about, even if you didn't like Charles, you can't talk about Charles. You're too busy slanging hamburgers. <laughs> That's right. If you're really doing the work, you don't have time to be talking about, Mr. Farrakhan didn't do this. And and Sanetta did. You don't have time, and you're too busy doing the work. Mm -hmm. You be too damn tired. That's right. You're not. So that goes to show me that you're not really doing no work. You're not no mm -hmm. real busy person. And you damn sure don't have time to go to Disneyland with your family. And you see a lot of black folks. That's what they do. They go to. Wait, where you going in, in 2021? How you gonna celebrate Soul Liberation Day? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> that, that's you know. That's how they're going to celebrate Soul Liberation Day. I know men back 2009, 2010, ho, 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 you, you Uncle Tom, and you, and you are cool, and they talking all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. They talking all this kind of stuff. Now I see them on Facebook. They don't say nothing. Their grandmother mm. in their hand, docile as hell. Mm. They don't even talk black power and all that kind of stuff. They told me stay away from coons and uncle tom and i'm still have a connection with the so-called coons and uncle tom and i don't know what the hell they doing mm -hmm. they're not doing nothing at all on facebook rock a baby in the cheetah <laughs> that's what they do mm -hmm. don't tell me 
who my friends are, stay away from the Uncle Tom. You don't tell me what to do. And look what they turn out to be. Mm. A bunch of lackeys. Want to see their grandchildren. They want to die in peace. I'd rather die and have honor on the on the floor a prick of wood blowing my brains out. And at least you can say I with honor. Try That's to right. get mine. That's right. On Facebook, giving your grandchild some damn Similac. <laughs> That's what the problem with a lot of these younger people right now because of Similac. Giving mm -hmm. instead of having to be breastfed, giving them damn chemicals out of a can. Say that. That's right. Your, your, your damn brain is not developed. Mm -hmm. I tell, I ask these guys that want to argue and debate with me and act all stupid. I say, are you a, are you breastfed or was it out of a can? <laughs> they don't never answer because I already know. Mm -hmm. You said out of a can. That damn Similac did not, you did not get proper nutrition to your brain. You don't have it all upstairs. That's right. I'm a breastfed baby. I got plenty of milk. <laughs> I don't go crazy. I don't go crazy because I because someone pull out her breast. I seen plenty breasts. So what? Come on now. I'm not that don't excite me. You know what excites me? It's just like Brother Muhammad said. When we walked to the steps of Jackson, Mississippi, it said, this is ours. That's right. That's what excites me. Not That's no more right. breasts and a damn thong. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice to watch sometimes. <laughs> but I, that, that ain't my thing. I could, I could care less. Mm -hmm. That's not top part. Exactly. You got breasts and a thong, but she's a slave. Come on. <laughs> Live in another man's country. So what? Come on. Ah. Mm. You ain't gonna be doing that in our country. You gonna, learn, right. how, you gonna learn how to be modest. And ain't no thong, right. ain't no thongs and and then and showing all your stuff like that. I'm not mm -hmm. expecting you to dress up like no garbage bag or nothing, but we don't do that. You, need right. to cover this, you deserve better than that. That's right. That's right. And the woman in our society. <laughs> Will be put on a pedestal. Yes. And be protected. That's and right. And our protected. You sex traffickers, right. if we catch mm -hmm. you bad, when we take control of you, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. no court, no court dates. Sure don't. Mm -hmm. The only sure thing you have yes. is a Mississippi River. That's right. Yes, what yeah. happened to We don't know. We just found a body in the Mississippi. The joint mm -hmm. Mississippi, Mississippi Bureau of <laughs> Ain't gonna investigate a damn thing. <laughs> That's right. We take control. A proud people. You're gonna change your ways so that you can demand respect and be respected. That's right. You're gonna show the world, all of humanity, what a real diamond is in human, oh, in a human being. That's right. And it's not difficult. Mm -mm. Mm. It's not difficult. It's not bull. And you're going to find out it's the best way to live. That's right. You don't have to buy all them damn locks for your doors. When I was mm -hmm. growing up, Brother Omar can probably bear witness too because he's an old brother. When I was growing up in the country, we didn't have no locks on no doors. Mm. Somebody mm. comes to your door and they knock and that's where they stay. If they didn't, if nobody didn't say come in, they kept their happy ass out. Mm. Didn't happen. We didn't have no locks. Nowhere. Mm. You might latch the screen door sometimes. That's it. Mm. We need a different way of life, a different way of looking at things. We need That's a right. change. We need a change. And it has nothing to do with religion. You can do all these things, and mm -hmm. you don't have to be religious. You can be righteous and you don't have to be religious. You don't have to believe in a God or nothing like that. And nobody mm -hmm. wants to try to force you to do nothing. We want to show you that you can live a righteous, clean life. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. They got you believing, running around here, uh, 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 looking at pornography 24 hours a day and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and watching watching murder, just like Brother Muhammad was talking about earlier. Uh, who was that? I forgot. Y'all was saying so many words. I forgot who said what. We was talking about these shows, television shows, 
Mm -hmm. Watching murder all, all day long. Exactly. CSI, the FBI file, folks shooting and killing, kidnapping and murder. Mm -hmm. You know, even the superheroes fighting and killing and destroying and tearing up stuff. Mm -hmm. that, that stuff has a psychological effect. That's you right. Wonder, you wonder why the society is so violent? Come on now. It's supposed to be violent. Mm -hmm. We have a lack of focus. That's right. I don't want to get angry at me, okay, when I say this. We are doing too many things here. If this person want to do this, and this person want to do that, blah, blah, blah. There's no focus. In mm -hmm. martial arts, in martial arts, they teach you focus. Remember that scene in Enter the Dragon and Bruce Lee was trying to teach the student and he pointed to the sky and then he hit him in the head. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all the heavenly glory. Mm. Because he too focused on the finger. When he oh, should yeah. on that whole, the, the universe itself. Right. We we lack we don't we focus on small things here. Yes. And we're not looking at the universe, the whole picture. When we talk about the Mississippi campaign, the Mississippi campaign is the catalyst so that the whole universe can open up to you. Come on now. Not just focus on a school. Mm-hmm. A, 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 a shoe business, whatever this little tiddly totly stuff that we want to want to do. Mm -hmm. Focus. And your mind, if you want liberation, or even if you want a woman, when when brothers chasing a woman, you focus. Man, I that's can, right. Man, fine. I got man, you know, you focus on that. And that's mm -hmm. the only thing you can find, 24 hours a day. How can I get that? Come on now. You don't Come focus. On. You know, when it's, when it's this one particular woman that you want, you don't be thinking about Sandra and all like that. Your focus is, I want that. Mm -hmm. And you focus right. on that. And you think about how I'm going to get that. Yes. You got to maintain focus. That's right. Whether you win the prize or not, you know that you got to stay focused. That's right. You teaching. So here we are with the Mississippi campaign. And like the brother said, we should have, we should have had this kicked off and going, whatever. Mississippi Initiative, Operation, whatever, should have been. We should be up and running in Mississippi, going strong. Years ago, but why? Right. We're not focused. We have people right. that not. Focused. They want to talk about other things. They want to do other stuff. Mm -hmm. I want to run. I want to run a shoe business. I I, I want to mm -hmm. climb the, the the gateway arch. I, you know. I want to suck your feet. Whatever it is, they don't have no focus. <laughs> when I was, right. I was focused. And you need to understand this. If you don't care, nobody else don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. If you don't okay. care, why should anybody else give a damn? That's right. I understood that nobody, nobody looked out for my situation more than me. Mm -hmm. They put booty in my face. They put other things in my in my in my path to, to try to distract me from what I do. I said no. Mm -hmm. I can get booty when I get out. Go ahead. My focus is getting out. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing to accomplish. I need to get out of here. That's right. I had to stay focused. Always in my room, reading law books. Always in my room, writing. Mm -hmm. Focus. How I'm going to do this? How I'm going to get out of here? If this don't, always try a different thing. Well, if this, I'm ready with something else. Mm -hmm. See, you have to be flexible in your thinking. If you're driving and there's a roadblock, what you going to do? Go through the roadblock? The reason why the road is blocked is because of construction. Come on. Something is wrong. You can't keep going. That's right. Because the road is blocked. We have a 
Well, the road is blocked. We we still think that we can keep going forward. No. You don't mm -hmm. fall off the cliff. That's right. You go somewhere and you have a serious problem. You have to change direction. We don't want to change direction. But that's what we're going to have to learn how to do. I understand mm -hmm. that's, that's the way that, well, my granddaddy, that's the way he went, and my grandmama went, and my great, yeah. But the road wasn't blocked when they was doing it. Right. You got to go differently. You got to have a change of direction. You have to learn how to be flexible. Mm -hmm. Lack of focus, because you want to do too many things. That's right. You have to put on in one spot here and say, this is what I'm going to do until I accomplish my goal, until I got get that woman. Now, once you get that woman, your eyes might go to Sandra or uh, Melanie or whoever. Now, once you get her, but your focus is, I want this one. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, I'm not going to like get her until I accomplish my goal. Mm -hmm. We should have had this done a long time ago. That's right. I have, I have over a hundred subscribers on my Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign. I asked uh, about a year, maybe a year or so ago, I asked those uh, who support the Mississippi campaign, are you ready? Can we gather 50 strong to get this going? Send me an email. Let's let's do this show. Who's supporting? I, I support Operation Exodus. How do you support Operation Exodus? Because you smile? Mm. <laughs> that don't help me none. That don't help the campaign because you smile. Come on now. <laughs> That's right. First step is, like I was telling the sister, is promotion because people cannot act upon what they don't know yes so the first step is getting getting people to talking especially in that state mm -hmm. you don't even have to leave your house you can send emails to uh the the the, the uh newspapers or to the, to the different churches send them uh email email them share the the, the video promotional video with them start get them to talk out there so you can come back to me and say, brother, support the Mississippi campaign. You know why? Because I sent all these emails to all these churches and the mayor of the mayor of, of uh, Jackson want to talk to you. He want to mo get more information. Could you go visit those type of things? That's support. That's support That's right. when you put action behind your work. That's right. You're not supporting me. Now, if you don't want to do a damn thing, then you can donate. You don't want to do that either. You want to be, you want to be stingy and keep that in your pocket too. Well, if you don't do, you don't want to do the work, then don't those who want to do the work. Come on now, say that. I would like to have big billboards on I fifty five twenty. They don't even know mm -hmm. what the Mississippi campaign is, but when they go up and down, what the hell is a Mississippi campaign? Exactly. They go on the internet. Let me look that up on the. On, on Google. Let me Google what Mississippi campaign is about. Mm -hmm. Big old billboards with my bald head on I-55. Mm -hmm. Brother Maurice on I-55. I-20 going east. Mm -hmm. What is what is a Mississippi campaign? Get the people to talk. It. That's right. That's what we need. So if you support, I can't use a smile. Need mm -hmm. your hands behind a computer screen. In, in the end, we need money because they're not going to give us no uh, billboard like that for free. That's right. Not going to happen. Mm -mm. And we got the money. We just rather keep it in our pocket because you're not excited about your liberation. That's right. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Because liberation is more important than the white man's money. I can mm -hmm. get money. Matter of fact, I can put value on money when I become one to power. Mm -hmm. Not worried about that. It takes sacrifice, suffering, and maybe even death to get what you want. That's right. And you're not ready. Why aren't you liberated? Because you have not earned it. That's right. That's why you're not willing. To, you're not willing to pay the price. Mm -hmm. Now look at here. I'm almost done. Can y'all bear with me just a, a few minutes here? Yes, sir. I'm almost done. 
You got Trump and Biden, and Trump is, whether Trump is president or not, Trump is very influential. It don't make any difference. He's proven that. You got Trump, you got the Democratic Party, Party Republican, you got all these pecker woods, whatever. They are fighting against each other right now, back and forth. Almost the same type of situation as it was that, that created the Civil War. And the Civil War caused us to be physically free because that was an aftermath. That was something that it just so happened we was able to take advantage of. Right. Here we are, if we have leadership, and you got these people going back and forth, while they fight amongst one another, we can be slick and do our thing. That's right. While they That's bickering right. and fighting the one, because you can't, they can't fight us and themselves mm -hmm. at the same time. That's right. And we really ain't worth all that, really, mm -hmm. to them. <laughs> if we have proper leadership, we could really make some moves and do some things. Exactly. They don't care nothing about Mississippi. Mississippi is a poverty-stricken state. Nobody don't really give a care. You mm -hmm. in a situation now, you can take advantage of it, go in there mm -hmm. and, and take control of all the all the cities in the state and, and the governor's mansion, whatever. And when they when they come out of fight from amongst themselves, next thing you know, we done changed the name from Mississippi to to to, uh, to Akbar land. Or who knows? <laughs> they said, "How the hell did that happen?" That's right. When, you, when you're smart. That's right. Take advantage of them while they doing their thing, but mm -hmm. we don't have we don't have a leadership like that. So so here we are, and I talked to Brother Maurice about this. It's not easy taking control of a, of a city, a town. Mm -hmm. It's not easy, not easy thing. So what you think, how how you think that it's, it's, it's gonna be so hard to take control of a state? It's Come not on. easy, especially when you don't have no help. That's right. <laughs> when you don't have no help, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. And I said this, if I died today, I have no legacy. There's nobody that's going to step up and take my place. Nobody. So once I die, this thing called Reality's Temple is done. Nobody. I have nobody have come forth and wanted to uh, take my place. Understand where I'm coming from. Have my same mindset. So once I die, this is the end. And the only thing that would be videos and maybe some writings that I got on the internet or, or, or whatever. You don't want me or have a problem with Brother Maurice and Brother Maurice connecting, but if I die right now, a part of my legacy continues because Brother Maurice is carrying the choice of the Mississippi campaign. That's right. So that's my legacy. I still live. That's through right. Brother Maurice. That's right. But y'all don't want me to be free, Brother Maurice. You got a problem. You think that there's a problem with that or, or whatever. What have you What have you done for me lately? You mm. been, <laughs> you're not doing nothing except a cheerleader. I don't need no cheerleader. You need somebody that's ready to take action, even if it means your life. Willing to give everything that you... When I was, when I was with, 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 with Minister Louis Farrakhan, I was willing to give everything. I ain't caring about no money. I ain't caring about no that. I'm ready to give up everything for the end goal. That's right. You're not ready for that. You ain't what you got for Christmas. Mm. That's what, you know, you're not ready for that. Mm. Mm. We need to take control of our destiny. Yes. They looking for Biden. They looking for Trump. They're looking for the great white hope mm -hmm. to do something for them. And you don't want to do nothing for yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. You want somebody to do the work. You want Farrakhan to do all the work. Mm -hmm. You want Sinatra to, to, do, to do the work or young Pharaoh. They always look at somebody to do the work so they can sit on their ass and give them money 
Mm -hmm. So they can feel good about themselves, but you ain't did a damn thing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Mm -hmm. You don't even, even really support the people that you tell you support. You giving them some money, but you really don't support them. You don't do nothing. You're not going to be liberated until you earn it. That's and that's right. another that's another thing people don't like about me. I only give you credit when you earn it. I'm not going to call the I'm not going to tell you that the black man is God and you ain't earned it. I'm not I'm not going to tell you you no damn king and queen. You don't rule a damn thing. I'm not mm. calling you no king and queen. We used to be. Well, what if used to be ain't what it is right now. That don't mean a damn thing in 2020. What mm. you used to be. No, it doesn't. And if you used to be that, tell me when you did it. Mm. You ain't ruled a damn thing. Only thing you said is a slave in America. Waiting on the next episode of the Cosby Show. That's <laughs> who you are. That's who you've been in this country. Mm -hmm. TV, that's all you, that's what you've been. Waiting for the next episode of Good Time. Dino Mike. <laughs> that's what you've been in this country for 400 years. Waiting on somebody to give you something when you should be taking it. Mm -hmm. You want reparations? You don't have to ask them a damn thing. Be slick and take it. That's take right. Their laws mm -hmm. and get it. Mm -hmm. The Mississippi yeah. campaign is a callus and a and a and a, a, a vessel where we can take it, whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. What you like? I'm against rep. I don't give a damn what you against, sir. I got the reparations, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. About what you talking about? Mm. Be smart enough to take it. That's right. Waiting on somebody to give you something. You have to take control of your own destiny. Yes. I'm letting people tell what you should and shouldn't do. What direct you take control of it. That's when right. somebody, when you begging somebody for something, they determine where you go and what you do. Mm -hmm. Now, how much you have? That. We're not into that on this platform. We don't do that. And for those of you who believe in God, wouldn't it be a beautiful thing? You said God come when, when Jesus come. Wouldn't it be a beautiful thing when you take control of your destiny? And when Jesus come, a Savior come, and they come, when they get here, they say like, there ain't nothing for me to do. Because you done took control of your destiny. I took care of yeah. myself, sir. That's right. That's right. It's nice that you showed up, Jesus. It's <laughs> nice that you showed up, Muhammad, but it ain't all necessary. Matter of fact, why don't you have a seat and we go get you some uh, uh some cocktail. Mm -hmm. We already took care of You know why? Because I'm God myself. Go ahead. That's right. I'm a God myself. I don't, mm -hmm. I never, I don't need to wait on you. Mm -hmm. mm. So I want this in my conclusion. For those who keep pushing this narrative. Well, uh, if you, if you so into that, we move to Mississippi. You need to, you need to move to Mississippi. First of all, I'm not your savior. Mm. I'm not your messiah. I'm not your leader. I owe you, I don't have to do nothing. So we don't even have to argue that point. <laughs> I'm not responsible for grown people. Now you have people that say I'm your savior and I'm, I'm your messiah. That's, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. When you look at Mississippi, it has to be a prepared place. I'm not going to ask nobody to go to a place prepared. Before a bird lay an egg, they make a nest first. They prepare that egg making a nest. That's true. So the people, in order for us to do what we need to do, those who are living there already, 
they must be prepared properly so when you make that move, everything else fall into place. The egg, the hatching of the egg, all that type of stuff, and things move forward. So it has to be prepared first. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we need to do first. The people don't have the right mindset. It don't make any sense to do anything with them. They are satisfied with being in the condition that they're in. Why should I waste my time with people who want to be saved? I'm not, you might want to do that. I'm not into that. And then there are many who suffer from the what I call the little red hen syndrome. Come on, you now. Heard the little red hen. Come on. And she she went out some seeds and she asked the, the other animals, will you help me plant the seeds? They said, no, I ain't gonna help you plant no seed. Will you help me get the weeds out the, I ain't gonna help you do that. Uh, will you help me uh, 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 harvest the, the hang on, hang on. will you help me make the flower? Uh, I ain't gonna help you do nothing. Mm. Will you help me bake the bread? I ain't gonna, but once the bread got done, now here come everybody. Will you help me eat the bread? Everybody yeah. want to come. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, I man. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I'm not going to do all the work. Sister Nova, Brother Maurice, Brother Omar, we ain't going to do all the work. Hmm. And your happy ass come and eat the bread. <laughs> and, uh, it ain't, ain't going to happen. If you don't want to help, you don't want to participate, it's fine with me. If you don't, if you go where you at, that's fine with me. Now, if you want to be saved, you need to go to some other channel and talk to some other people who do that. They 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 do the saving thing, the Messiah thing. I I don't I don't do the saving thing. You don't want to help yourself. Then, hey, that's 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 on you. <laughs> but if you want to get off your ass and we really want to make a change, you really want something. I have no problem with people who want to help themselves. Yes. I'm not going to beat a little red hen and go out here and see another thing. If I do all this work, if I do all this building, then I deserve to run things the way I feel they need to be run. You don't have, you don't have nothing. You don't have a say so in nothing. Because mm -hmm. you didn't help do nothing. That's right. So I run it and mm -hmm. I get all the credit. I get all the credit. And I run things the way I want it to be run. That's but right. see, it's for us. So if it's for us, all of us should be participating. Yes. Not no I, mm -hmm. not no you, us, we. Mm -hmm. And so when we make laws, we make the laws. When we make the policy, we make the policy. It's about we. Yes. And we get the credit for Mississippi, not me, not Maurice. We get the right. credit for taking control of the state, not an individual. And that way you can feel pride and your babies can say, look what we did because the Mississippi campaign, I got it set up. Even the children can work and participate and they might be too young to remember. You take a picture of them when they little babies, you show them you helped us become the nation we become. Look at those seeds you was planting when you was two, three years old. That's right. And they can feel pride. This is my nation. That's right. And when we go to war, they'd be happy to die. That's right. For that nation. That's right. Take control of your destiny. Become the great people that you claim you are. Be that. Mm -hmm. Don't claim it. Be about it. Mm -hmm. Be real. Tripping and getting your money. He said this about the pan african He said this about the black first. He said it's old damn whining and crying y'all be doing all the time. Get the job done. Yeah. The way the reason why I talk, I talk because we need to get off our ass and be real. That's right. And do the work. We don't have time for debate, go back and forth, and all this kind of stuff. Pretty soon it's gonna be too late. That's right. You don't have a safe haven. I have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. You don't have nobody to protect you. If things broke out right now, what do you do? You, you don't produce no water. 
You don't produce no gas, electricity. You have nowhere to go. What little you got, your little pop gun to protect you for a certain period of time. The others who are more powerful come in and take what you what little that we totally, we totally helpless here, y'all. That's true. We totally helpless. True. You understand that? We helpless. I do. I understand. So it's up to us. So, like I told you, I'd probably be dead within the next few months or 10 years or whatever. I don't care. I'm willing to help you be successful and get you where you need to go. Stop listening to these fools. And you got to have a timetable. Stop listening to these people talk about, well, uh, I don't know when it's going to happen. They don't know how they're they doing. We don't need a timetable. You go to work and get a timetable. Just like when you at in a campaign, the general asks the soldiers, when you think you can take over, when you're gonna blow up that bridge, give me a timetable. When you gonna yeah. when you're gonna have your soldiers march to Richmond, it's a timetable. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't give you a timetable, don't know what the hell they're doing. Mm -mm -mm. You know, you know damn well that you're not gonna accept somebody. If you got a hole in your roof, you're not gonna accept nobody to come to your house talk about, well, uh, uh, what they what they say about God, God do do things in his own good time or something like that. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanna hear that, I, I do things in my own good time. You don't wanna hear that stuff. Mm -hmm. You want your roof fixed. Mm -hmm. So if you support Mississippi Initiative, you support the Mississippi campaign, really it's the, both the same thing. It don't make no difference. And you give us your full support, you give us your money, your time, you willing to die for the cause, we don't give you timetable. We don't give you steady progress reports. We took over Clarksdale. We took we took over Biloc Biloxi. Uh, uh, we took over Greenwood. We don't give you timetables. We on our way to the Capitol. It's took. It's That's ours. Right. That's right. That's right. Messing around with these losers and this nonsense and living these fairy tale the, the real pipe dream <laughs> we're giving you timetables mm -hmm. you support us like you do them you're gonna get something for your money the only thing you're gonna get them is a pretty damn speech mm -hmm. and some body die mm -hmm. that's all you're gonna get that's all you've been getting for the last mm -hmm. year Lottie mm -hmm. that's right get on board the soul train mm -hmm. get on board the on, Get on board and let's let's get this real. It don't take a lot of us to get things. Once we get it started, you won't believe. It'll be like an avalanche. It'll just start. You know how it is when a ball, a snowball go out, a mountain, mm -hmm. and then it's like an avalanche. Mm -hmm. And you get to the point where you said, damn, I could have done this a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look how long for it for you to get. To, to, to get that in your head. Mm -hmm. It don't take much. Once you get to rolling, nothing can stop you. Just like Brother Omar was saying, I believe. Nothing can stop us. The only thing stopping us is ourselves. Mm -hmm. They can't stop us. The, the white man gonna do this. And I don't care about them. <laughs> I don't care what they say, I don't care what they do. They cannot stop you. That's right. The only thing stopping you is yourself. That's right. Lazy. You comfortable living mm -hmm. with, satisfied with this little God, this, you know, this little trinkets that they give you. Right. Mm -hmm. They got real power. Have mm -hmm. you ever been to a nuclear power plant? Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a to an electric company, gas company? Have you ever been there, seen that type of stuff? Water company, they control your water that you mm -hmm. right. That's, That's the kind right. of power they have. Mm -hmm. Billion, trillion dollar corporation. You ain't mm -hmm. nowhere close. But guess what? Mm -hmm. Control of Mississippi, now you're in a position to do it. That's right. Oh, gas companies. You can control electric companies. You mm -hmm. learn how to do all that stuff yourself. When the pepperwood don't want to help you, learn how to do it. We got people that know how to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. Get them to come and pay them. Mm -hmm. Pay your people for the bills. Bring them on. Exactly. Not being cheap. 
get our homeless off the street, bring them and give them a home. Mm, mm, mm. Let us be family. So one day, when we celebrate Soul Liberation Day, it'll be something like, wow, the greatest thing ever. That's and this right. is not to reduce the meaning of anything else, but to pull this off, you've done some amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. Our ass to be really, really proud. And with that said, uh, I want to thank uh, everybody uh, joining us this afternoon. I thank our sister uh, Omega. She dropped off. You know, it's a long. This, this is for this is one of our talks, brother Omar. <laughs> 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 another four hour talk Get four hour lemon I, I really this is I mean this whole thing has been so beautiful man this is the the best soul libera liberation day ever I mean I couldn't ask for better mm. I could not I just could not ask for better I really appreciate everybody we look beautiful and energetic and had so much energy it's, it's just amazing I thank you so much you know uh, the haters gonna have to hate on, but you know that's that's the way it go. You know we 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 gonna be successful here. We are gonna do everything that we can. At least when I go to my grave, when I go to 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 uh to the cemetery, you can put on my. He tried. Mm -hmm. He tried. A lot of you not gonna be able to say you tried. Mm -hmm. We we tried our best. You know I can't control other people, how they, if it was up to me, this Mississippi campaign, this thing, we've been done a long time ago. But it's not up to me. It's up mm -hmm. to other people. So it's up to you to make up your mind. Help us. The first step is to promote, get people to talking, share videos, send the promotion of video out to, to wherever. You don't even have to know the people. Just see an email and just send it out. People to talk. Because they cannot, the people cannot act upon what they don't know. That's right. We got to let them know that there's something that can change their lives and the lives of their future generations forever for the better. So again, thank you, panelists, for joining me. Brother Talib on the speakerphone, you still there? Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, thank you for those in the chat room that always support us. Thank you so much in the chat room, those who have been listening and those who will be listening later, of course, I'm going to share the hell out of this video <laughs> all over my social media. And Sister <laughs> Noah will tell you that I got some medical problems here. They don't make no difference. I'm still going to be a tight talker. And um, I'm going to get this video out here. Uh, and I'm going to do my best to, to put it out there. And uh, even the old Mississippi campaign Soul Liberation Day video, uh, Operation X, they have they have oh, uh, uh, thousands of views right now. Mm. But we need we need a whole lot more than that. We need to get some hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. You know, we need to get in there. The people need to know that the solution the app is here, and anything that you got, just bring it under one tree, um, mm. umbrella. We got this. The only thing stopping us is ourselves. That's right. I'm five thousand. Thank y'all so much for joining us. And uh, where's my Miss Ben? I'm gonna put that out here before we split. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, put that out. There. And uh, we already five thousand. Thank you, thank you, brothers and sisters, <laughs> for joining me. You made me, you made me very happy. I'm very proud. Yes, sir. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. And thank you too. Anybody want to speak you. real quick? You know, I'm still. We still going. Mm -hmm. uh, just brother, uh, just thanks for once again allowing me on the panel today and uh, what was all said. Uh, I mean, I just can't believe how this energy is, like brother was saying. You uh -huh. know, I mean, this is definitely positive here. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Everybody in sync. You know, ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Have no temper tantrums <laughs> and, all that, and all that kind of crazy stuff. You know, buddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on a common uh, code, mm -hmm. you know, as a common denominator. 
and everybody, you know, understands where we got to go from here. And it's just that simple. Yes. And I can't really put it in too many more words, but just to say that, um, you know, uh, no matter how much we disagree with each other, we have to keep our eyes on the prize. And mm-hmm. this is going to get free. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And also, what's more important, so our future generations won't never know what it is to be a so called Negro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or mm-hmm. a statistic or proper, you know, or a, uh, you know, a statistic whose lives have been lost streets. You know what I'm saying? Because of mm-hmm. what this society produces. You know what I'm saying? And further degenerating us as a people, mm-hmm. you know. So, I mean, we need to really understand that this, is, much as this is important for us in the present, right now, this is important for our future generations, our babies who be born in the future, who won't have to understand or know what it is or what we're going through right now. Matter of fact, won't even be nowhere in their mind because they'll be in a whole different reality. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm gonna pass it right back to you, brother. All right. Anyone? Anyone else have any closing remarks? What I would um, humbly suggest is that um, is um, is your organization incorporated? Now I'm, I, I, I want to see you, brother Sally. Brother Sake. Well, what I would suggest is that um, we incorporate, if it's not incorporated already, put together a constitution because what, it, what has been the failure of our leaders in the past is that our leaders, have, our, our personalities have come up, but they didn't leave institutions. And what you what 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 we might want to do is working at making the Mississippi project a, a a corporate structure, and not only that, establish a constitution with bylaws. That way, if for some reason any of the leaders go on, we set something up like the United States of America is that have elections. Now, this is where our votes really matter because it's mattering for us, amongst us, and not worried about what happened with the United States government. You know, we create and establish our own government. That's right. And it can be established with this particular project. We put together something that will live on after we're gone because it can't be built on a personality because personalities come and they go. But structures live. And that's, and that is my humble suggestion that this organization do. You know, that way we got something we can pass on to our children. You understand what I'm saying, Brother Talib? I don't know if you, if you hear me, but we'll talk about it. Thank you. Yes, I, I just want to say um, I agree, uh, dear brother. We have to have, you know, our own setup, our own organization, our own understanding of what the laws that we're going to create and, and how we're going to, um, you know, carry them forward. Is all about being able to govern yourself, being able to lead. Yourself. You know, we don't we don't need our enemy to be over us, and we voting for them to be our new master. No, that day is gone, and we ain't coming back to visit that day no more. Absolutely. So, you know, this this is what it's about: self governance. Let's look. We yes. can prove, and you know, that's one thing that the uh, Constitution. Well, not the Constitution, the uh, 1866 Civil Rights um, Act, when it was passed in 1866, it said that this is the validation for those who are 
American citizens, your right to be your right to vote, you know, and it's just unfortunately for us when the um, the federal troops left the South, then it was killing day started for us. And um, we have really never bounced back from that because all of our leadership or the majority of our leadership were always afraid of this enemy. And now it's our turn to challenge the giants and to win. So I, I just want to say thank you. Um, I enjoy Soul Liberation Day, and it was a blessing to be a part. And I rest my mind. Same here. Okay. I just want to I just want to add on to um, what Brother Maurice Muhammad said. Um, it's true everything he, that he said about you know you know, what happened, you know, in our history. And I do agree also with um, Brother Omar that we do need uh, bylaws. We need to create bylaws because, you know, that that would um, basically be the laws of, you know, our campaign. Um, it would be the laws that we set in place for our campaign. And I wouldn't mind, you know, contributing. I wouldn't mind contributing on the writing of those bylaws. So, um, you know, if that's okay, you know, with Brother Muhammad and um, Brother Talik, then I wouldn't mind, you know, contributing toward that. Perfect. Excellent. That's awesome. That'll work. That's excellent. Yeah. All right, I had my mic. I'm having technical difficulties on, on my end. I could barely hear what everybody had to say, so I'm gonna have to check once the uh, video uploads, whatever. But again, thank you so much, Brother Omar. I'll be talking to you, you know, uh, uh, later on this week, sometimes probably. And Brother Brother uh, Muhammad, I, I really thank you for coming and, and uh, your presence. You know, you're, you're very powerful, uh, young man. And like I said, you are. Uh, if I die today, you're my only prodigy, brother, brother Muhammad. I, hey, that's it. I don't, you know, uh, unless I'm going to step up. And I, there's a brother, uh, sister Tangie. She, she, she has a son. I don't know. He's a little only young. I think he's only 10, 10 years old, but he's fired up with reality triple, you know, <laughs> video. <laughs> but he's a young side. I need somebody a little bit more, you know, a little older. Mm -hmm. And thank you, my beautiful sister, uh, Nova, for, for and sister uh, Omega. Thank you so much. Be talking to you. We're gonna stay in contact. All of us stay in contact. And uh, brother Bakari was in the chat room. Want to send a shout out to brother Bakari. And I just want to say also, in the end, I have your will to nobody. You know, all that band stuff. That's the past. Y'all can throw it out to whatever. But we have to be serious about things. I don't have time to be playing games with nobody. And we have to respect one another and stop being so emotional over things. Come on now. You know, let's let's go ahead and accomplish something because we really can be the greatest generation ever produced and make our ancestors very proud. And they would they can rest in peace knowing that we'll be all right. And also, oh yeah, send a shout out to your uh, brother Muhammad. Huh? <laughs> Shali, she said. The children shall lead the way. AJ number number. I, I know that's right. I know that's right. Believe me, we're working with that young brother. Mm -hmm. Sister Tangy, she's a reality's temple. She she reality's temple forever. So, you know, her, her people, her children is reality's temple or nothing at all. So, mm. yeah. So we want everybody to get on the soul train. We want everybody to get on the be first train. We want to mm. be one whoop ass. We want the ass out of these folks. Okay, <laughs> you know, so that's what we want to do. And we want to accomplish something, something that we can be proud of. Something like when our our children look up, they say, "Look what I look what we done." Mm -hmm. Not because the white man can have this, or the Chinese said that you can do it. No, we did it because we took it. That's right. We became, we became the gods. Mm -hmm. We said, "Be and it is." Let there be light. Mm. We want the light. That's right. We want to go. That's right. And we got the power. It's all. It's right here. The kingdom of heaven is right here, here with us. 
Mm-hmm. All that we gotta do is just do it. Stop being scared. Like the brother said, you know, you you scared to go from one place to you know, you scared of the unknown. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to be scared of. That's your heaven that you're talking about. That's your salvation that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. That's the gift you give to yourself. You don't have to wait on Santa Claus. That's right. So that, thank you, Sister Muhammad. She said, be one whoop ass. <laughs> and hopefully in the future, as long as I have strength, we're going to do some things. And uh, come on, y'all. Let's, let's, don't, don't say support without action. We got to, you got to put some actions behind that support. We don't need cheerleaders, you know. Uh, I'll leave the cheerleading to those half naked ladies at them football games. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do cheer, we don't need any cheerleaders. <laughs> Y'all have a nice night. I thank everybody. And we are Audi 5000. Thank you for joining me on Soul Liberation Day 2021. We out. Yeah. Uh, peace. Peace. Peace, everybody. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're going out. Yeah. Oh, you know something what I forgot to do? Well, I guess because I had all those uh I had all those that commercial crap going on. I forgot my little thing. I like that. Yeah, everybody gone.